Param Vashish Seva Medal, the highest award in the armed forces, Lieutenant General Arjun Reyes continued to inspire in his second calling, international school education. He has set up three IB schools, the Leadership School, the Indus Training and Research Institute, and the world's first equal opportunity school for children living below the poverty line. IB World recently acclaimed the general as one of the six IB World School leaders on rethinking education. An avid reader and speaker, General Ray is also an author with three books to his credit and an exemplary learner, teacher, leader. General Ray's vision and strategies continue to improve, drive and make sure that everybody does and he makes sure that everybody in his team, at least, follows whatever he gives them. Ladies and gentlemen, kindly put your hands together for Lieutenant General Arjun Ray, a great source of inspiration and a dear friend of the Academy, who will now speak to us on the impact of music on students and society. Um, Mr. and Mrs. Sridhar. Shankar Mahadevan, our very dear friend Sridhar, ladies and gentlemen, and our dear young friends who have right from this morning till now been displaying their awesome talent in Bangalore. As a young college student, I remember music was one of my, not only my passion, uh, I always wanted to be, those days there were no stage performers, I wanted to be a playback singer. And uh, I went to Australia and New Zealand as part of the Indian University's team for debating. And there, of course, television had not come in India very much. And I used to do a lot of performances, live performances on television. But once I joined the army, my biggest regret has been that as I grew up in rank, Wherever I used to go, like Oliver Twist, I had to sing for my supper. And they said, Gana gao, Gana gao, Gana gaiya. So I, as I went up in rank, I felt very embarrassed. And slowly and slowly, I gave up this big art, this great art of music. As a student of military history, I studied the successful German blitzkriegs of World War II. And I came to a conclusion which I don't think anybody has come to. The linkage between leadership and music. A country that produced the world's greatest philosophers, doctors, engineers, scientists, and tank commanders produced the greatest music composers of Western classical music. This was, to me, a great revelation. The symbiosis and the linkage between leadership and music. And I think if we look at Shankar Mahadevan Academy's unstated message, Shankar Mahadevan's unstated message, it is this. Music goes beyond entertainment. It goes beyond aesthetics. It enters the domain of spirituality. And therefore, if I have your permission, sir, I would like to slightly amend this chart, This is displayed over here.
to me this to me this is the annual leadership meet of sangam and i think this is the important aspect which i would like to for all of you to take away and i'd also like the young performers today and even the not so young performers today that talent by itself is meaningless absolutely meaningless you need much more than talent you need grit you need passion you need self control you need discipline you need effort because at the end of the day the greater passion and greater energy is more extraordinary than greater genius and i think this is the important point that talent by itself <laughs> talent is good talent is welcome but talent by itself will get you nowhere in life high iq high talent bereft of passion bereft of effort of self control of spirituality is meaningless absolutely meaningless and i think this is the as i said earlier the unstated message of the sma and therefore in my eyes in my view shankar mahadevan is not just the greatest singer we have in the country today he is a great leader who through music is not there for entertainment or for aesthetics is developing the leadership of this country so we are very grateful to you sir for that i think it was very well brought out right in the beginning when we came here at 11:30 <clears throat> that when you look at classical music you look at devotional music the world over i would say that devotional music and classical music is a form of meditation in motion it is the fluidity of meditation meditation is as you are thinking but as the frequencies and the tones and now the new terms of frets and glides which i have learnt at lunch today it's a part of prayer it's a prayer it's a form of prayer so whether it is sufi qawali whether it is the afro american gospels church hymns like amazing grace and abide with me whether it is the whether they are the bhajans of meera and kabir and tulsi das and sur das or whether they are the fusion of vaishnav and sufi tradition in our ball music it's a form of prayer and i think great singers are great meditators and this is the point i think we our young children need to understand who have signed up for sma that you are not just becoming great singers or something to improve your aesthetics of your life but you are becoming excellent human beings because ladies and gentlemen devotional music in all religions in all cultures help us to become aware of the mysteries of life who are we why are we here where are we going it brings about a thinking which takes us beyond ourselves into the realm of the community as lata mangeshkar in a film 45 years back sang apne liye to zindagi sabhi jeete hain dusron ke liye jeena zindagi ka naam hai and i think this is the great part devotional music helps you to understand yourself better it brings together people of all religions and all cultures together on the same platform we forget who we are we only think that we are human beings we become self aware and therefore if you look at music and when i said music is a form of meditation it connects man to god or whatever you believe is your god music has been used from a leadership position 
فار پولیٹیکل اینڈ سوشل موبلائزیشن سارے جہاں سے اچھا ہندوستان ہمارا وندے ماترم انڈیا فریڈم اسٹرگل ہم ہوں گے کامیاب وی شل اوور کم مارٹن لوتھ کنگ دا سول رائٹس موومنٹ ان امیرکا جان لینن امیجن ویتنام اینڈ دا گریٹ موومنٹ ٹو برنگ ڈاؤن دا ڈس مینٹل دا اپارٹ آئٹ ریجیم ان ساؤتھ افریقہ میوزک واز دا پرائم موبلائزیشن فورس people did not understand what is apartheid or anti apartheid it is music the language of music which brought people together and its most modern form you have joanna give me hope give me hope joanna it was music which played a pivotal role in dismantling the apartheid regime the 47 year apartheid regime in south africa and for those of you since we are all from the knowledge capital of india music also goes beyond spirituality it also goes beyond aesthetics it makes you smarter it makes you mindful your ability to focus your concentrate on your studies in life at work because music requires intense concentration intense concentration Razor, laser sharp concentration it requires. It improves your memory. Music enhances your language skills. Music makes you more empathetic. Because we have a hormone called oxytocin. And those of you who are very fond of chocolates, let me tell you, It's good to eat chocolates because chocolates have got a very high dosage of oxytocin. It makes empath you empathetic. Women, by nature, have more oxytocin than men. And music is one thing which brings out the oxytocin levels in a singer and makes that person a good human being. And if you look at Shankar Mahadevan today, take away all his credentials of music take away all his credentials of all the awards he has got i think you will all agree with me he is a good human being he is a good man <laughs> ladies and gentlemen i'll conclude by saying that the message which shankar mahadevan is trying to get across so whatever you have seen today and what's going to happen is that man is born musical every human being is wired to be musical and i strongly feel that music is the one of the best most efficient and effective tools to bring about the unity of your mind of your soul and of your god not only those who sing but also the people who listen to them thank you very much sir